Hi, I'm Thor Patel, course instructor for fluid mechanics. In this presentation, we will try to find out the expression for finding pressure using single column manometer. Single column manometer is one of the modified form of YouTube manometer. There is one reservoir with large cross-sectional area about 100 times as compared to the area of this glass tube. Left limb of the glass tube is connected with the reservoir and right limb of glass tube is open to atmosphere. There are two types of single column manometers based on the right limb of the manometer. First one is vertical single column manometer and second one is inclined single column manometer. Right limb of glass tube is vertical for vertical single column manometer. Consider a container filled with a liquid and pressure of liquid at point A in the container has to be measured. Once vertical single column manometer is connected with the container, heavy liquid in the reservoir will move downward by amount delta H due to the high pressure of liquid at point A in the container and hence the heavy liquid will rise in right limb of the manometer by amount H2. Let XX be the datum line before connecting the manometer with the container. P is the pressure at point A. H1 is height of lower specific gravity liquid above datum line XX. H2 is height of higher specific gravity liquid above datum line XX. Delta H is the fall of heavy liquid in the reservoir. G1 is the specific gravity of light liquid that is specific gravity of liquid in the container. G2 is specific gravity of heavy liquid that is specific gravity of liquid in reservoir and in right limb of the manometer. Rho1 is density of light liquid which is equal to 1000 into G1. We know that specific gravity is equal to density of liquid divided by density of water. So density of liquid is equal to density of water that is 1000 into G1. Similarly, Rho2 is density of the heavy liquid which is equal to 1000 into G2. Capital A is the cross sectional area of this reservoir and small letter a represents cross sectional area of the right limb. YY is the datum line after connecting the manometer with the container. Level of heavy liquid in the reservoir will be dropped by amount delta H and therefore there will be respective rise in the level of heavy liquid in the right limb by amount H2. So we will equate area of the reservoir and the drop of liquid level to area of the glass tube and the rise in the liquid level. So we get expression as A into delta H equal to small letter a which is the area of the glass tube into H2 and final expression for delta H is equal to small letter a divided by capital A into H2. Now we will find out expression for pressure in the left limb above datum line yy. It will be unknown pressure P plus intensity of pressure in the left hand side that is W1 into H. W1 is rho 1 into G and total height H is delta H plus H1. Similarly, pressure in the right column above datum line YY will be equal to W2 into H2. 
W2 is rho 2 into G and H2 will be delta H plus H2. As pressure is same for the horizontal surface, we will liquid both the equations. So, we get P plus rho 1 G of delta H plus H1 equal to rho 2 G of delta H plus H2. Since we need to find expression for P, P is equal to rho 2 G of delta H plus H2 minus rho 1 G of delta H plus H1. We will take out delta H as the common term. We get delta H into rho 2 G minus rho 1 G plus remaining terms that is rho 2 G H2 minus rho 1 G H1. We have already found out the expression for delta H as small letter A divided by capital letter A into H2 and remaining term is rho 2 G minus rho 1 G plus rho 2 G H2 minus rho 1 G H1. So this is what is the final expression to find pressure at point A. Thank you.